What are binary operations in mathematics? The first thing is what are binary operations? We will try to understand the words first. Binary, it consists of by and an array. By means two. So that means in binary or by there will be two values, two operands actually and they will operate, there will be certain operation. So what are these operations? This can be any mathematical operation. But in the case of binary operation, let me write 2 into 3, 2 multiplied by 3, 2 plus 3, 2 minus 3 and 2 divided by 3. So these are the operations I am talking about, into, plus, minus, divide. So the first operand is 2, second operand is 3, that means it is by 2 binary and these are the operations, that is what is called as binary operations. These are four operations possible in binary operations. Now let us generalize it. What does it mean? Generalizing means, see, we will start with a set, everything starts with a set. The set R or set is the combination or collection of interrelated items, values. So let us write a set S or A like this. This is 1, 2, 3. It can be any set. So this 2 and 3 is coming from this set. That is the two operands by. By means two operands are coming from this set. So what do you get? 2 into 3 is uh, 6 and 2 plus 3 is uh, 5. But this 6 and 5 is not in this set. So this is not a binary operation. Because for the binary operations to hold, the resultant value of the operation should be inside that set only. That is, you take two operand from the set and now the, the operated value should be in this set. For example, I am increasing this set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So see, the 2 has is coming from this set. 3 is also coming from this set. And the result which is 6 is also coming from the same set. Similarly with the plus also. 2 and 3. When added, you get 5. 5 is also coming from this set. So the two values in the result should come from this value. I'm not talking about 2 minus 3 and 2 divided by 3. We'll talk about it later because it is not forming actually the binary operation right now for this set. So how do we write it? You can write it as set S or rather you will see everywhere in the books it will be uh, you know demonstrated as A. So I'm writing A, A because two operands are coming from A. The second is also coming from A and the resultant is also from A. So we define all these operations are there. So why not to have a single common symbol for to depict these operations? So let us say it is star. You will see we will use O and cap various uh, symbols we are going to use. For now we are using the star. So the first value is coming from this set A. That, that is for example here 2 is coming from A. So the second value is coming from A. So how much the you know the Cartesian product. So A cross A. Then we, this is called as the domain. Then the final value, resultant value is coming again from A, which is called the codomain. And this star is what? Is all the operation, we just called it as one symbol star. So one value, second value coming from the same set, result is also going to the same set or it is coming from the same set. We will not talk about 2 minus 3 divided by 3 because 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 2 divided by 3 is 2 by 3 and this is not going in this set. So 2 minus 3, 2 divided by 3 for this is not a binary operation. I will tell you how to make it. So now how to write it? The route, uh, the writing is we have to depict the domain, the codomain, this A cross A is domain, A is a codomain. I am not talking it as a range. 